Hello, this is High Priestess Jamila, and this is going to be my first installment of the Surviving the Twin Flame Paradigm, and I wanted to roll out, go ahead and roll out um, this particular series of my Surviving the Twin Flame or Surviving Your Twin Flame and a lot of the mishaps and the trauma that can be associated with it. And I wanted to deal with the first installment being when you actually come into union with your twin flame and how to identify cheating and what would qualify as cheating on your twin. Um, especially if you pursue a romantic or a sexual connection with your twin flame. So, first of all, if somebody is your twin flame, they're just your twin flame. And it's hard. Right now, as I make this video, my heart was literally ripped out of my chest by my twin flame. And the reason is because he's he is a narcissist, but he is also in denial. He is also surrounded by people that give him the green light to hurt me and to take me for granted. And Our story is really interesting. It's very interesting. And some of you guys may have similar stories. Some of you guys may, may not. But the way that it came about was that the acknowledgement of the twin flame connection between me and him was acknowledged at first by him and I didn't believe it until we met and I literally let him gut me I let him gut me over and over again I never left his side, not once, as he literally abused and battered my heart, my soul, my existence. When you get into this type of situation, the only thing that matters is being next to them. That's it. It doesn't matter what they're doing if they're cheating. So this is all about the third party is what I want to get into now. And I want people to listen to me very, very carefully. Because this is going to be very important to your survival and their survival. Because this is so serious that you actually think about committing murder. It makes you so angry. This is one of the reasons why it's probably a good idea for your twin flame to be 
in a certain situation to where they're by themselves, to where they're not involved with anybody else, or maybe even perhaps work through their issues of cheating. Okay. Um, I wanted to inform the twin flame runner because if your twin is still running from the relationship and cheating, right? I think they have it listed on this little diaphragm, uh, diagram is stage six, but it's actually them running from the connection. When you come into union with your twin, physically, sexually, psychologically, and especially sexually, I don't care if it's your wife that you've been married to for 20 years. I don't care if it's your baby mama. You can have five kids with them. When it is your twin flame, it is considered cheating. It is. And so this is when the other twin that is probably being loyal and faithful, this is when it comes to the realization how much you love that person, how much you love your twin because it hurts so deep that you feel like you're dying. Now, you're not dying, but it feels like it. It hurts really bad. A lot of the times in society, we are very confused about twin flame unions and everybody want to kind they want to kind of keep things as it is like for example if your twin flame is married or if they have tip you know a bunch of kids by somebody you kind of are looked at as like a side chick or you're looked at as a home wrecker or the third party. And people have a very ignorant viewpoint of it. So this is when you have to literally survive the world. Because the world is going to be very judgmental. Because they don't understand. And to be honest with you. It was a mishap. For them to even be aware of the situation. If your twin opened you up to that, they're wrong. I have seen this happen so many times. I have experienced it myself. So there are some people that actually married their twin flame. But there are a lot of people that didn't. There are some people that had children with their twin flame. There are some of us that will never have a child with our twin flame. Maybe you met them later on in life. Maybe, you know, you just don't want any more children, but that doesn't make them any less of your twin flame. And the world will beat the shit out of you. It is so evil. It is so diabolical. And what I want you to do is to put the world out of your mind and realize this experience that you are having that is so painful, you will heal from it very soon, in fact. You know, when you go through those emotions of realizing that they are cheating on you and they are betraying you. When it comes to twin flames, I have to be honest with you. Even sometimes when a twin is married to somebody else. Or 
R is currently with their quote unquote baby mother or any kind of cheating. The other twin, if they know about it or if they pick up on it. It's a very painful experience. And part of the reason is because it's literally a waste of time. For the twins, once they have came into union for them to be with anybody else. So the situation is typically handled improperly and you end up being mishandled. Sometimes your twin will even get confused and become very worldly and very, very involved and focused on their worldly marriage, their nuclear marriage. When it is your twin, the grass is always greener on the other side with you, but yet they have this obligation, right, to this other person. And I'm not trying to disrespect married people because if you don't marry your twin flame or somebody that you know is special or if you have children by somebody that you know damn well, you're not going to want to be with the rest of your life. This is what you are risking. This is literally what you are risking. Going back to the cheating aspect. And I know that there are a lot of people through culture and through uh, social engineering, they are taught, especially when it comes to men, they are taught to look at the twin flame, not as the twin flame, but as a whore or just a side piece, just somebody to kick away until they realize that they have lost you. Whether or not it's forever whether or not it's for five minutes. Especially when they are doing things to be directly disrespectful to the union. Especially when they are allowing people to just feed and take advantage. Let's face it, once you have came into union with your twin flame, Every other person at that point, they matter, they can care, but there's nothing more important than that union. So at that point, what ends up happening is that the wife or either the baby mama or either the sluts that he or she may be cheating with, they become karmics. And you can tell and they know that they're karmics because they will become involved. They will even play around with the connection. They will even do things to try to hurt the twin when they know that that union is always going to be there. My advice is that if you are in... <laughs> that situation to where your twin flame is cheating on you with their baby mama or even their wife of a dead marriage that has been over. My advice is to protect yourself, guard yourself, and then even sometimes you have to send that negative energy back because they will take and take and take and take from you. For some reason, people get a kick out of hurting people that really love people. And sometimes your twin flame is like a puppet or either just a bad person, unfortunately. Sometimes your twin flame is a confused, screwed up individual. 
And so my advice would be to heal yourself as much as possible. My advice for the other twin who is the runner is to watch yourself. Watch your karma. Because you are factually cheating on your twin and they can feel it. They can sense the betrayal and it is killing them inside and you have to answer for that. You have to literally explain yourself. One way or the other, you're going to have to deal with the pain that you helped cause your twin because what you should have done is you should have did right by them in that union. You should have made sure that you were done sleeping around or either done with your toxic ex. But you didn't. You just fed and fed and fed and played games until you became a literal devil, a literal tyrant, a literal demon, a literal source of pain for your own twin flame. And you are wrong for that. You owe them more than that. You owe your twin more than you owe those people. Just to be honest with you guys, it's it may be a situation that is never going to fix itself. So my suggestion is if you have a toxic twin flame that cheats on you, because most of the time when twin flames come together in union, the twins, they stick together. And yeah, they do very financially. They they do good very. They they do very good financially together. Obviously. Okay. Um my suggestion is that if it remains toxic for 2 years, give them a time limit and especially if you feel that your twin is literally feeding like you feel like the life is being sucked out of you because that person is very toxic and the people around them are bad people the people around them tend to like to feed off of your pain and agony while they sit back like a bump on a log and allow them to my suggestion is to do anti-energy harvesting work There is a specific hoodoo working that I do. With, I call it a lemonade jar. So that these toxic outside influences that are literally residing over your vagina, your twin flame has allowed other people access to your heart. They have made fun of you. They have made fun of, fun of the union, even though they know that it exists. They know that it's there. They chose to be fake. They chose to send you through it. Make sure that you take your, your energy back from those people because because at that point, that's what that that that's what most of you guys, when you complain of certain energies and feelings that you get, when you say that a relationship with your twin, when the relationship with your twin flame is draining you and you just feel like they purposely try to suck the life out of you. Um, that's pretty much what's happening. And some of y'all will never be able to trust that person because they're so screwed up. Maybe next lifetime it'll be better. Okay, because they're always going to turn against you and do what's not best for your union. And don't worry about the silly little stupid jokes that their stupid karmic connections say about you you know um don't worry about that stuff make sure that you focus on taking your energy back from them okay <laughs> especially if they're really parasitic especially if you run into that person later in life because life may have taken a toll on them and they may not they may not ever be good for you you literally have to just guard yourself because you're always going to be connected. There is never going to be a core cutting. 
because you're so connected with that person. The only thing that you can do, I will tell you, is to make sure that you pull your energy back. And then when you realize how toxic they are, how they're purposely doing it, stay away from them. Be done with it. The way you have to literally look at your twin flame sometimes is, you know what? We had our experience. I don't regret it. I'd rather experience my twin flame love in this lifetime than to never experience it at all. And if they choose to continue with their fake connections, with their fake happiness, go and find real happiness. Maybe perhaps you will find happiness and companionship in someone else. I know that when you first realize that they have betrayed you and let you down once again, it feels like the end of the world. And you feel like I don't ever want to experience love. But, you know, I feel that what God is telling me is that even if your twin flame is a complete loser, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they just don't respect it, that God has another plan for you. You know, God has somebody that's there to love you and to make love to you and to appreciate you. And it's not that they are a replacement. It's just that sometimes it's not meant to be with your twin flame. Sometimes it's just not meant for you to be with them in this life. And sometimes your twin flame will choose to be miserable. You know, if they don't want to let go, if they want to continue cheating on you. You can't just let them get away with that just because they're your twin flame. Because it's factually cheating. So distance yourself from them. Stay away from them. Don't have any romantic or sexual involvement with them. If they have betrayed you one too many times, just let it go. Because they've made, especially if you've been doing spiritual work. Because that means that spiritual work can't necessarily fix it. A lot of the times it can, but... You know, and it, it, you know, so just stay away from them. Find maybe, maybe eventually find someone else after you've healed from the situation. But, you know, um, don't let them cheat on you and take advantage of you and, you know, continuously take you through a cycle of abuse. Just because they're your twin flame doesn't mean that you have to be abused. Because the healing process happened a long time ago. They chose to wound you and themselves over and over again. And you don't have to be a part of that. I hope that this helped you guys. Um, this is the first installment of um, surviving your evil twin flame. And, you know, knock them in the nuts <laughs> or the groin. You know, by not allowing them to take advantage of that and to exploit your love for them, your genuine, real love that nobody is ever going to love them like you do. And that is the God to honest truth. Make sure that you guys subscribe, hit the thumbs up. And I'm here for you guys for any healing work. And, you know, because they will screw up your life sometimes. You can always get your life back on track. Also put your energy and focus your energy on fixing the things that they have derailed in your life. Because some of you guys are witches and your twin flame is a stupid, idiotic, idiotic Christian type of male who wants to fit in with Christians. And, he, you know, he calls himself a witch hunter and he's going to teach you some freaking lesson about being a witch because he's a complete idiot so i'm speaking to you witches right now too and hecate is going to be a a driving force in that she's going to really really help heal you and you know hopefully some of us will definitely find our witchy partner that we can have sex magic with and they understand what we're going through spiritually and they can be the power couple, they, they will be in that powerful union with you and they will be better than your twin flame. Because honestly, the way that I'm feeling right now, just personally, 
I want a male witch that's within his power. I honestly just want a man that will understand if I'm online dealing with a spiritual enemy. I want a man that understands me as a witch. I want a man that is a witch himself. I want a man that has an understanding. I do not want a Christian man walking around with a cross around his neck. I don't. <laughs> I, I'd rather be with somebody pagan or even a Satanist, you know, it's just where I'm at, you know, as long as he's not completely evil and crazy and sadistic. And let's face it, from what I've figured out is that, you know, you find that sadism more so, especially when it's pointed towards witches. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that the problems with my twin flame comes from his deep-seated fear and ignorance and judgment of me surrounding being a witch and he'll never be given the opportunity to try to teach me a lesson for being in my power yeah that will never happen so yeah he'll be replaced with somebody that's way more powerful than him and somebody that will stand in front of me and literally guard me and be my guardian and not allow him to hurt me anymore All right, guys, thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Blessed be.